I'm not quite sure what happened, but it is now 3 a.m. I feel so cute, like I could just fly away on my little wings right now. If you want to see how I created this 3D butterfly makeup look, then just keep on watching. These nails look crazy. Starting with a generous amount of eye primer. I'm going to be using a lot of eyeshadow. My eye is watering. Blend that in. I'm using P. Louise's Base Pro in shade number two. I'm bringing the primer all around my eye and down into my cheek. I'm going to use the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lure Palette. I'm applying 332 meters to my outer V. It's a really beautiful deep teal shade, one of my favorite colors for eyeshadow. I'm bringing it through my crease, but only about halfway, using a smaller brush to bring this along my lower lash line. Now I'm applying C Nymph and just packing this around the outer edge. I am overlapping the shades because I need to save room for my pink. The next shade that I'm using is called Baited and it's a really nice cool toned baby pink. Again, I'm applying this completely around the edge of my eyeshadow. I'm bringing it down into my cheek. You gotta squeeze it in right underneath my eyebrow. Going back and forth a little bit between the two shades kind of like gives the pigment a chance to really mix together. Going back with the dark teal shade, I'm just gonna beef up my outer V a little bit. I'm also bringing this color into the outer portion of my lid. I'm applying some white eye primer to my inner corner, bringing it about halfway over my lid. Adding a bit more shading above the crease that I made. I'm applying Sugar Pills Valoria eyeshadow to the center of my lid. It's this one right here. Finally, I'm applying the light pink eyeshadow all over the rest of my lid and also my inner corner. I feel like such a real YouTuber with my little candle. I'm using this product from Danessa Mirix Beauty. It says yummy skin on it and it also has the shade name which is Prima Donna. There's a little swatchy swatch for you. I'm blending this all around my cheek, out into my foundation, but I'm also blending it up into the border of the eyeshadow. I'm using ColourPop's Hot to Touch Blush to set that. The packaging for these ColourPop blushes is so cute. Blending my contour into the blush. Crap, I added too much contour. Eee, blend it out. Down and around. And I'm bringing my contour up through my hairline a little bit. My scalp is so freaking pasty pale. It's like embarrassing. All over my cheek, I'm applying High Energy from Gourmand Girl's Radioactive Palette. This is the same eyeshadow that I used on my butterfly wings, which you're gonna see in a minute. I'm bringing it around my eyeshadow a little bit up here, just a little bit. On my inner corner, I'm applying Carla Cosmetics Nightgown, which is one of their opal multi-chromes. Using a fluffy brush, I'm lightly tapping those sparkles down and connecting them to my cheek highlight. So bringing them all through my under eye area. I want this look to have a lot of sparkle because I'm gonna try like one of those trendy transitions on TikTok. Time check, it's 10.45 p.m. I wanna do my little inner corner point, but instead of using black, I'm gonna use purple. This is a cosmetic paint from P. Louise called Ecstasy. It's like a gel eyeshadow formula and you can use it as a base and like put stuff on top of it, but it also dries down on its own. I'm connecting that to my lower lash line and also bringing it along the front part of my upper lash line. I'm stopping about halfway. I'm just packing on more of that dark teal eyeshadow and connecting it in the middle. I'm using another cosmetic paint. This one is called Nitro. I'm bringing this along my waterline. Before that dries down, I'm gonna set it with the dark teal eyeshadow just because I want the color to match a little bit better. Eyeliner, no eyeliner. Eyeliner, no eyeliner. I like to change and do my hair before I finish my makeup because sometimes like the process of changing and finishing my hair messes up my makeup. So before I get into the nitty gritty parts, I'm just gonna go change and do my hair. I'm not quite sure what happened, but it is now 
3 a.m. Finally, it's time to stick on these butterfly wings. I sketched out the exact design that I wanted. Since parchment paper is translucent and heat safe, I can use it to trace my design in hot glue. The glue can be really difficult to control and the only trick is to go slowly and be intentional with how hard you're squeezing the trigger. If you're having trouble getting smooth curves or lines, it can be helpful to lift up the hot glue gun and kind of stretch out the glue and make it thinner as you're applying it. I need to mention that it is nearly impossible to do this if you're using like a four or five dollar hot glue gun. I would know because I tried it. I went to Michael's and got this one for about $15 and it has a much thinner nozzle and better capacity for a slow squeeze in comparison to the super cheap one that I have. Once the hot glue is dried, I'm just using my finger to apply a duochrome eyeshadow from one of my faves, Gourmand Girls Radioactive Palette. The shade is called High Energy. It has a hint of warm purple with like light greenish blue reflex. I'm pressing the pigment into the surface of the wings from different angles, trying to make sure that the eyeshadow gets all over the hot glue around the sides and not just on the top. I'll be honest, I did create quite a few pairs of wings and I cannot say if they are even significantly different from each other, but if you are attempting this, be prepared to go through a few sticks of glue and don't feel bad if you're having trouble. Quickly trimming the edges of the wings with my little lash scissors and now they're ready for my face. So I'm just starting with a dot of eyelash glue. I actually need to put the dot a little bit higher up, so kind of at the end of my crease. It doesn't have to be exact, I just want something for the wings to stick onto. So I have the wing in like a comfortable position on the applicator so that I can stick it onto my eye. I'm putting some eyelash glue directly on the back of the wing. Some on the top and some on the bottom. Not the whole wing, just the part that I know is going to be like stuck on my eye. And now I'm going to try really hard to place this symmetrically compared to this one. Let's do this. Ah, no, go up a little higher. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. But it's bothering me, so I'm gonna move it slightly up. Hope that fixes the problem. It did not fix the problem. Okay. Moving on to the bottom wing, I'm just gonna put a dot of glue, applying some glue to the back. I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Quick little nose contour. It's 3.30 a.m. Finally, I've had my foundation on for hours. I'm going to set with some of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. When it comes to my lips, I just mix stuff together until I'm happy with it. I'm starting with a medium brown eyebrow pencil and basically just lining my cupid's bow and the bottom middle portion of my lip. Next, I'm using ColourPop's O oh Snap Lip Liner and going around the entire perimeter of my lips. I want a little more purple, so I'm going to use a bit of ColourPop's V Cute Lip Liner. I'm filling in my lips with ColourPop's Westy Matte Lippy Stick. And I'm just adding a tiny bit of concealer to lighten that color. Over top, I'm using MAC's St. Germain Lip Glass. I need a little bit of sparkle, so I'm using Milani's Pinkaroo Lip Gloss. Those purpley reflex really ties into the colors on my eyes. I feel so cute, like I could just fly away on my little wings right now. I am going to spice it up a little bit just for fun, but I want to get some pictures before I do that because I'm really worried that I'm going to ruin it. I want to add a lot of extra like glitz and sparkle for a few TikTok transitions I'm trying out. But for now, this is what it looks like before I put a ton of rhinestones and glitter on my face. Time check, it is 5.55 a.m. Time to get a little bit freaky. I'm just going to add a bunch of glitter and rhinestones. I'm not really sure how or where yet but I'm just gonna follow the flow of sparkle. This is cute for festivals, it's cute for anything. I think it's just so cute. Like I'm truly obsessed with these little wings. It's giving euphoria Y2K butterfly princess. 